What up guys, my name is Adrian from YouMotorcycle.com. Today's video is gonna be showing you guys how to do an oil change on a Suzuki TU250. This bike right here, I got the Suzuki factory service manual right over here and I'm gonna be showing you guys by the book how to do this oil change all by yourselves. I'm gonna show you what parts you need, what tools you need and show you step by step how to do it. It's gonna be like five steps and super easy so you can do it like a dealer. All right, so right here is pretty much everything you need. I have 10W40 uh, semi-synthetic motorcycle specific oil. So I will link to everything in the description box too, by the way. So if you don't have any of this stuff, you'll know where to get it. I'll link to the cheapest prices I can find. Uh, 10 millimeter bit for getting access to the oil filter. 17 millimeter bit for getting access to the uh, oil, well, the oil drain bolt. KN136, that's the brand new filter. And a torque wrench to make sure that we are basically not over tightening or under tightening any of the bolts that we're gonna be touching. And lastly, something to catch your old oil in. You'll notice I have the bike in a totally vertical position. Bike is straight up, not on the side stand. All right, let's continue. Now, the service manual doesn't actually say to do this for some reason, but I actually warmed up the bike first because warm oil drains out faster. So let's see what the service manual does say. Well, it says place an oil pan below the engine, drain the oil by removing the oil drain bolt, and then remove the oil filler cap. Hmm. Two things not mentioned in the manual is, I always like to check the oil level, which you can see in this screen. Here, it's, uh, this top line is F for full, bottom is L for low. So you want to be between those limits, which right now we are, we're closer to full, so that's great. Suzuki says to drain the oil and then open this up. Personally, I like to open this up just a little bit first because we want to make sure that this thing is not seized in place. Like right now it's on super tight because if we drain all that oil and we can't get new oil in there, we're going to be in trouble. So let's first loosen this off and make sure it's okay. Basically right in front of where your brake pedal is, there's this round part right here. And in the center of that, that's your drain bolt. So you're going to take your 17. Oh. And just make sure you put that drain bolt somewhere safe. It's almost done dripping out. I'm gonna wait for it to drip a little bit before I take the next step. So for oil filter replacement, Suzuki says drain the oil as described and remove the filler cap, spring, and oil filter. So we got three th parts to worry about. So talking about this right here, we're gonna move one, two, three, 10 millimeter bolts. This cover is gonna come off. There's gonna be a spring, an O-ring, and the filter. So you should pay special attention when you're undoing these to get a sense of just how tight it is, or in this case, isn't. And the reason why I say that is because the factory service manual doesn't actually give a specification for how tight these should be. But to me, they feel like they're just snug, so we're gonna put them just snug. So if you take it off carefully, your spring is gonna still be on here. And you see this black seal right there, that's very important. That's gonna go into this ledge if you reuse it. If it looks like it's in rough shape, just get yourself a new one from the dealer, they're only a couple bucks. Oops. There we go. That came this close to hitting me. <laughs> so now we're gonna rip open our KN136. Now, one thing I want you guys to notice is this is a directional filter. So this was the side that was on the outside. You guys should pay special attention to that. This is what was on the inside. If you'll notice, there's an indent in here. I hope you guys can see it. And there's not on this side. So when you're putting it back in, don't put it back in backwards. It won't seal up right. I also want you guys to notice one more thing. Hopefully you guys can see that there is that ring in there. We're just gonna take that ring off, wipe it out, make sure it's nice and clean, lubricate it, put it back in there. So now all I'm doing here is the same thing I did with the other seal. Basically, new gasket goes in and you're just gonna get your finger wet with some clean oil and just wipe it around to make sure that this stays nice and lubricated. And we want this lubricated because as long as this is lubricated when it goes on, it's gonna come off easy. If we don't lubricate it, taking it off is gonna be a big pain in the butt. So now it's nice and wet and shiny and lubricated and the spring is in place securely. It's gonna all go back in, put those three screws back in there and that's about it for the filter. I'm gonna grab one of those screws and just hand tighten it to start. And I'm not gonna go all the way tight on any of them. I'm just gonna kind of work my way around. And I'm gonna use the littlest of socket wrenches here and just barely apply any tightness because again, this was not fairly tight and the service manual didn't tell us how tight to go. Okay, that's snug, that's snug, that's snug, perfect. Tighten the engine oil drain plug to the specified torque, pour new oil in through the filler hole. So one thing I wanna show you, Suzuki doesn't mention this in their service manual. I'm starting to get the impression that the Suzuki service manual is not all that great. Your bike should have this washer. Make sure that the washer did not fall into your drain pan. 
Um, and make sure that your washer is still in good condition. It doesn't look like beat up or worn or anything like that. If it does replace it, they're like less than a dollar. Uh, this one is excellent. It's totally straight. It's super clean. So we're just going to put it back in there and then we're going to torque it to specification. And I'll explain to you guys what that means. Okay. Oil drain plug, 23 Newton meters. Perfect. Let's do it. So do you guys know how to set your torque wrenches? If not, I'm going to give you a really quick crash course. So your torque wrench basically has these markings here and you just turn it until you get to the desired number and then it'll make a click sound once you're actually tightening the screw and this stops you from over tightening there we go so if you listen that click right there i'll do it one more time that click right there and you kind of feel a little pushback that tells you it's in all the way. And before you put the torque wrench away, you always want to set it back to zero. All right, so hopefully you guys can see this. We're gonna grab a fresh bottle of Motul. So to me now, A, the color looks so much better than it was that dark color you saw coming out. And it seems like it's right in the middle of uh, between the too full and too little. So I'm gonna put the cap on, we're gonna start it up and we're gonna see what happens. So while the bike is running, you're going to notice that the fill level does go down. That's normal. It's being pumped through the motor. So all we got to do now, wait a few minutes for the oil level to come back up. If it's beneath the L, you should add some more oil. If it's above the F, just open up the drain plug a little bit, let a little bit of oil out until it's back beneath the F. Repeat the process to make sure that your oil level is perfect. All right, guys, so it's actually 1.5 liters if you're replacing the filter, 1.4 liters if you are not. But besides that, if you do have any questions, please leave them in the comment section down below. I would be super happy to help you guys out. If you guys want to help me out, please give this video a like. It'll help me grow my channel, which helps me make more videos aimed at helping motorcyclists. And if you want more Suzuki TU250 specific content, please hit subscribe as I have a test ride and I give my thoughts on the bike and we'll be doing some more stuff with it. All right, thanks guys, ride safe, peace.